Get Funded with Rodney. Hello and welcome to the Get Funded with Rodney show. I'm your host, Rodney Walker. I'm happy to have you on another day. Isn't it good to be alive on the day? I want to thank you for coming and tuning in to hear the podcast. I know, I know you came here because you want that energy, right? That extra boost. And guess what? I've turned it up really high just for you because I want to see you win. And on today's show, I'm going to be giving you that IQ boost. Yes, that inspirational quote. Did I say IB again? I think I did that on the last show and I think I did it again. I don't care because today you are going to win and I'm going to help you. Now, that IQ boost is designed to help you. I'm going to be bringing a quote from you for you today that I believe that you are going to enjoy. And in addition to all of that, I'm going to come back at you and share with you how to move from a grant writer to being a grant consultant. That's what you want, right? I know, I know, I know. Yes, that's what I'm going to be helping you with on today. In addition to that, I'm going to be helping you to get a chance to know me a little bit better. Hey, by the way, I, I'm still waiting. I still haven't received anything at all from you with you telling me more about you. This can't be a one-way street. I need you to share with me. Hey, Rodney, here's one thing you don't know about me. I'm looking forward to learning more about you. Maybe you can come and hang out with our group in LinkedIn, or maybe you can come and hang out with me with our group that we have over in Facebook, the Grant Writers Association in LinkedIn. But wait Get one moment. Funded with Rodney. And I'll tell you, we have a group also in Facebook, so come hang out with us over there, or just send me a direct message. Hey, Rodney, this is who I am. All right, I appreciate that. Now, let us let me share with you the most influential person that I had in my life that helped me to want to become an entrepreneur. Now, yes, as you already know, I am a serial entrepreneur. The person that influenced me the most in wanting to become an entrepreneur was none other than my pops. Yes, good old dad, Fred Walker Jr. My dad was an entrepreneur himself and seeing him just be an entrepreneur, he had a business construction business not listen let me not just want say one business he had several businesses okay so i got it true guys i got it from him so if you want to blame why is this guy a serial entrepreneur blame it on fred walker jr <laughs> he's the one and you know i, I greatly appreciate him just a uh, honorable man who seeing the tenacity and the work effort that he put into doing business it inspired me it still inspires me so with that being said pops I'm giving this out to you on a day. This show is dedicated to you. Thank you for being a wonderful man. Now, let me get back to business around here. On today's show, I'm going to be sharing with you that IQ boost. And today's IQ boost is coming from none other than igrantwriters.com. Remember, when you're looking to hire a grant writer or get a grant writing job or even get discovered as a grant writer, we go over to igrantwriters.com. It's the place to be. And today's quote is coming from somebody's name. As I look at it, I'm like, man, how do they say their last name? I'm going to give it a stab. So hold your seat. Hold your horse. <laughs> Don't be surprised if I change your name into some acronyms. But here we go. Get funded with Rodney. Whenever you see a successful person, you only see the public glory. Never the private sacrifices to reach them. And that's coming from Barb Shah. Something like that. B.S. Thank you for that quote. Okay. Here we go, my friend. I'm going to be sharing with you some points. Three points today that help you to move from grant writer to grant consultant. These tips are tips designed to help you make that transition, to make it easier, to make it smoother. The first thing I want to share with you, my friend, is that you've got to discover, first of all, what does a typical day look like for a grant consultant? You want to make sure that you actually like doing this thing of being a consultant. Now, you want to ask some other grant consultants, hey, tell me a little bit more about what you do. You might want to do some informational interviews. That will be very helpful. You don't know what an information interview is? I'll tell you in a nutshell. Information interview is where you go and get some more information by asking someone. They'll take 10 minutes, maybe coffee, maybe 20 minutes. 30 minutes just to share more about what they do and you ask them questions okay it's called an informational interview go check that out secondly i'm going to encourage you you also got to learn how to develop proposals that will win and that have a strong understanding of what it takes for a proposal to win 
you don't necessarily have to write the grant proposal or maybe you're already writing grants right now since you're a grant writer and you're sitting out sick and tired of writing grants. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So if you want to transition to be a consultant, just make sure that you have a strong grasp. The third thing I would encourage you to do is this. Ask yourself what services you want to offer your clients. You want to think this through. Look at what other consultants are doing. And also, get out of the box and think, what else might I do that they're not doing? Number four, you're going to also need to know how to network with potential clients and potential partners, okay? Fifth thing, you want to also, man, I'm feeling fucky right now. I'm feeling, oh, I'm feeling that soul. Okay, fifth thing you want to do, you want to get some strategies for marketing your grant consulting service. You got to learn how to market. If you don't know how to market, nobody's going to find you. So you got to learn that. Now, number six, you've got to know how to manage your time and stay organized. Yes, you've got to be organized. If you're disorganized, you're going to have trouble being a grant consultant. So these are some basic principles that if you'll take those principles, go to the information interview, go through the process of learning how to market yourself, grab a niche, do those things, you, my friend, can begin to make that transition. And to help you make that transition, one thing I want to tell you about is the Believe CD. When I was making a transition from grant writer to being a consultant, I needed to get some more confidence. I needed to strengthen my confidence. One of the ways I did it was I made a CD called the Believe CD, and I made it originally for me. I want to share it with you. You too can grow your confidence to do some things that you're not currently doing. And you know, man, when you start doing that, man, <laughs> makes you feel like you're on the island. So I want you to go over to BelieveCD.com and learn more about the Believe CD. You may want to pick it up. It has some phenomenal information on there, some things designed to help you to meditate, to grow your confidence, and things of that nature. Now remember, I'm going to be helping you if you don't know how to grow your business into a six-figure grant business. Just simply go over to sixfiguregrantbusiness.com. Let's hang out. I'll share more information to help you so that you begin to win in this area. And as you do so, my friend, remember, it's not just the technical skill, it's the skill of becoming a more attractive person to attract those clients, listen to me well, to attract the clients that you really want to have. Some of you got some clients, I know, you want to get a refund, you want to you send them back. And I'm not mad at you, some of them need to be sent back. But that's why you're listening to the show. You're listening to the show because I'm going to share with you the truth. I'm not going to tell you to hold on to those clients that are paying you pennies, not paying you what you're worth. I'm going to be encouraging you to get the type of clients you need to help you win so that you can succeed. Remember, on our next show, I'm going to be sharing with you some information to help you. We're going to be talking about what you need to know before becoming a grant writer. You don't want to miss that show. And as always, my friend, I want you to be brave. I want you to be bold. Yes, I want you to be brilliant. I want you to take charge. And Grant Nation, as always, I'm out of here. Have a great day.